I've made my reappearance. It only took me a week. We're a bit delayed, but we're finally here. Uh, I'm kind of excited to get into this to see where we're going to go. We had such a spectacular episode last week that makes me think this one just won't be. Like, not saying that I guess it can't be, but for whatever reason, usually when one of them seems to be a bit more priority, I guess, or a bit more just it has more to it, right? <laughs> and then the next one typically doesn't seem to be as quality. Uh, not necessarily narratively, but just visually. Uh, so I'm interested to see if it's like a constant thing that we're going to be able to keep up or if we have to kind of venture into things a little bit more. I would assume, I mean, Mei Mei was been kind of brought up here uh, and shown at the end with her altercation that she's going to be getting into here with Ghetto. So I'm assuming we get a fight between them also because I see the first frame of this and it is the crow. So I'm assuming that's going to be something that gets touched on very early here, uh, especially. But also then we have to figure out what's going on with Yuji and them taking his body, uh, Ghetto's little, uh, his helpers in a way right uh what exactly their plan was kind of going up to him and what they plan to do i'm assuming at some point he's not going to kind of come to life like in a way like when he comes back it's probably going to be sakuna and if it's not they're going to try and like touch him or do something to him uh that's going to force him to kind of come out because he doesn't really fuck with that uh i don't i don't actually know but i just feel like that's going to be the case i think like at some point throughout this the season he has to kind of come out uh and do something it would just make too much sense to I guess not happen uh so i'd assume this would be like a good point after he's kind of like passed out and fucked up after this fight that just ended up happening that would make a lot of sense for us to jump into that point so excited to kind of see if that's the direction that they plan to to drag this uh if you like it all the like and subscribe to me to me feel free to stick around for the discussion leave any comments for this episode of the series this is a toho show this is going to get blocked at some point probably about a week or two down the line if you're watching a little bit of late link in the description or link in the comments the either one uh for you to be able to still watch the reaction if you would like let's get going though with comments as may may and her brother go to the fucking war <laughs> Which really wasn't, I guess, actually, and it, it, able to kind of figure things out strategically a little bit more. It works out pretty pretty easy and don't really get harmed along in the process uh, while having some things and, you know, the brother willing to devote his life in this situation here uh, to see that she gets out of this or to protect her or keep her life in some sort of way. Uh, and then the majority of the episode gets focused specifically around this other fight, which is more of like a war. <laughs> There's a lot going on and a lot of people are kind of taking heavy damage. Um I hate to like say it because you know i just don't like being negative in some sort of ways but i really didn't care for like this episode if i'm being honest like it just didn't really do anything for me i don't know if it has to do because i'm not invested or don't really care for any of the characters that were in it personally uh or if it has to do with the people that we were going against aren't like characters that i have like an investment or an interest in what they can do or what they're doing or anything so maybe just my typical self of like someone who isn't typically interested in a lot of things you know just shown related you know when it comes to just a lot of watching a lot of fighting and just i guess cool different um techniques and stuff that they have well some of them were definitely cool in the 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 second fight uh that we got introduced to to me it just like doesn't do anything i don't know so uh it's a bit unfortunate for that which makes this kind of a, a bummer of an episode for me but it is what it is it wasn't necessarily bad i wouldn't say in the quality of it while still being of course a massive downgrade from what we ended up getting last week because that was spectacular it's still you know there's quality and above the 80 percent of the other things that you're going to be able to witness so there's no complaints really i guess on that front it's just for whatever reason none of this kind of connected or made me have a care or anything and i never felt any sort of emotion really throughout it i wasn't like excited or angry or happy or you know just anything i was just like said here for the most part so i don't know the one thing that did make me feel something was seeing toji come out at the end which was something i one didn't expect in the slightest and just two made me so fucking happy to be able to see because having the out and you know making sure that everybody gets out and everything's safe you know that's one thing but when we introduce somebody like him you know who comes in the fold and just decides now nah, i'm gonna fuck shit up yeah that's fun uh and that makes me very very excited to see how the hell this is gonna go because you know for a fact they failed to get out at this moment and if they did I'm assuming only one or two of them did, and then I'm assuming we're going to get left behind with a couple of us, and it's going to go probably really south with Buddy here now, so I'm, I'm excited for that. Stated previously, this is the beginning that we have. The the uh, domain and everything here is pretty cool for the most part, uh, and it's actually, you know, fairly interesting. 
uh, for what it is. But once again, I really don't care for a lot of the stuff that's going on here. It's a trust and see buddy's devotion to his sister, though. So <laughs> there's that as well. Uh, it, it just maybe doesn't really hit or do anything for me because it's kind of set up to the fight that you know is ultimately going to end up happening after this. Uh, so you would assume that we don't put her in a position that kind of beats her up to a point that that fight's going to be kind of anticlimactic in a way. And it has to be something really presented there uh so we have to get out of this kind of unscathed i assumed but he was just gonna die and then she was gonna be able to move on no issue into the fight but that didn't end up happening and she's pretty smart the suicide birds are fun and i'm happy that they were, they were also to find out that like literally gojo is the only person who can block an attack from these fuckers is crazy because i would not expect them to be as powerful as they are but i guess there's that uh the ghetto fight will be fun whenever that comes i'm assuming probably not a next episode i don't know what the fuck's gonna happen in the next one but i'm assuming probably in the next couple it is it's gonna be a little bit though we get our unusual pairing of us three here we have some fun little moments before they decide to come down here and ultimately get into this fight which is interesting it's it's really un uneventful and uninteresting in my opinion until we get into the actual domain expansion itself uh and it doesn't really do much for me and there's nothing i really want to kind of really touch on i guess i could touch on abilities and say things but honestly i don't have enough interest in that to really want to dive into any of that so we end up moving forward i just thought that it was funny also when he started bringing up the things uh it makes sense when they start talking about you know his ability to storyboard all this stuff uh but i thought that what he was getting into when he was mentioning like the frames and everything was they were about to like do some fucking crazy shit on here which would have worked perfectly if like they set it up in the manga to do something and then they can actually translate that really well i would have been cool they didn't but uh, either way i think that's really 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 fun uh he ends up hitting us with his domain expansion which hopefully looks similar to the same beach location that i remember that they were all kind of chilling at in the first season uh but it doesn't really matter if it is or isn't because we end up getting shit to really fucking go down here uh, and some really cool things for the most part with all of the the different fucking uh chikigamis kind of coming out here and charging and attacking at us and nanami losing his mind here especially the voice actor does a really good job at kind of expressing that and making you not feel nanami i guess in a way and it feels like it's kind of disconnected or feels like somebody kind of panicking and losing themselves uh in some sort of way which is kind of great uh i also like his like ability of just kind of blocking this stuff and not really doing anything until it doesn't end up working and he gets fucking eaten by like eight of them which is great the teamwork between all of them a little bit earlier too was really fun which ultimately comes again when megami comes out of nowhere and he's like all right fuck it i fucking broke it <laughs> And he comes to protect to try and help them all, which is not probably the smartest thing, but I guess the smartest thing if you want to help all of them. Uh, but for himself, probably not very smart. Uh, great duo stuff with him and Nanami. And then Maki comes in and does a really, really good job at kind of adding on to whatever it is. Uh, we have our big moment here where ultimately we decide that we can kind of save people, not himself, but he's kind of staking his life on the line here and assuming that either he dies, he dies, but if he doesn't, he thinks that he might have a slight chance, you know? There's no interest in actually dying at this point, but there's a chance that he kind of does and him kind of recognizing that uh not only doesn't want to but also kind of just agrees maybe you're right maybe that is the the appropriate thing for us to take if we want to progress any further and things to go everybody's already so wounded too which makes this interesting like how the hell these other fights are going to end up being able to to work and progress uh with so many other members like uh jogo and like uh maito and just whoever else there is right uh how that stuff's going to go also like somebody like get to where you don't think he's going to lose at all so if that doesn't happen it's like do we have anybody else that can kind of go against him at some other point and when you see people like Nanami who are fucking beaten here and buddy's losing an arm and like everything else is going on it makes you a little bit worrisome i guess for how the other characters are going to be able to approach these other fights and you would just assume that they would all have to win because if one or two of them don't they're going to be in too much of like you know destroyed states here to really go out of their way and and go after somebody who already had their fight so i'm i'm not too sure how that's gonna go uh, as we all try to get in because buddy definitely realizes last minute what exactly is happening we see fucking toji come out of nowhere with that big old happy smile on his face <laughs> i have no clue what the fuck he was doing or how he got here or any of that but boy is he is he here and he's really gonna fuck shit up like i'm positive things are not gonna go well from this point forward so I'm excited for that, actually, because I really like when things don't go well or go as predicted and stuff. So this this really came out as a good shocker and made things really fun for probably what's to come. Uh, and I'm excited for that. I don't have too much more I really want to say. Like I said, I didn't really love it or care for a lot of what happened here, uh, which just makes me not really want to talk about it too much and just kind of go into what happens next week. I'm going to kind of leave it at that. If there's anything that you really liked or really appreciated and cared for and stuff, though, please leave it down below. Maybe, you know, sway my opinion or make me make me realize things that I might have been overlooking or not feeling or a connection or something there. 
Who knows? I uh, just love you know though. Uh, if you like it all, like and subscribe to me. Watch me. Feel free to check out the other videos and channel. Let me know in the comments of this episode or series. I'll be back for episode 15 next week. It was a good one. Peace.